All right, so you're watching this because your doctor has recommended a surgery to remove part of your breast with cancer and check a lymph node from your armpit. This is called a lumpectomy and sentinel lymph node biopsy. This means you have an in invasive breast cancer in your breast and your doctor thinks that removing a part of your breast with the cancer is safe. If the doctor cannot feel the cancer, they will ask a radiology doctor to place a wire into the cancer before the surgery to help the surgeon find the correct area of the breast to remove. It is important to remove a rim of normal breast tissue around the tumor so that we are sure we did not cut through any cancer and leave some behind. Also, any breast cancer can spread to lymph nodes in your armpit. We don't know just from x-rays or by feeling with our fingers if the lymph nodes have cancer in them. The best way is to remove some of the lymph nodes from your armpit that are marked with a special dye that is injected before the surgery, and we check those lymph nodes for cancer under a microscope. One dye is radioactive and the other is colored blue. The lymph node is removed from a separate cut in your armpit skin. You have about 30 lymph nodes in your armpit, and removing one or a few lymph nodes with this surgery does not cause your arm to swell or affect your function. After the piece of the breast and the lymph node are removed, they are sent to another doctor called a pathologist who looks at them under a microscope. These results take about one week. The pathologist tells us if the cancer cells touch the edge of the piece of the breast tissue that was removed. If there are cancer cells at the edge, we may recommend another surgery to remove more tissue, breast tissue in that area. Also, if there are cancer cells in the lymph nodes, your doctors will decide if more lymph nodes need to be removed. After surgery, a doctor called a medical oncologist will decide if you need chemotherapy. Chemotherapy goes into your blood and goes everywhere in your body. Surgery removes most of the cancer cells from the breast and the armpit, but some cells may have broken off and are floating in the blood and are still in your body after surgery. If we think this is likely, then we recommend chemotherapy since it can kill those cancer cells no matter where they are in your body. Doing a larger surgery in the breast, such as a mastectomy, which is removal of the entire breast, does not change the decision on whether you will need chemotherapy. Most women with small breast cancers will be offered a lumpectomy surgery. After a lumpectomy surgery, you will need radiation to the breast. This is to help prevent the cancer from regrowing in the breast by killing any scattered remaining cancer cells. You will meet another doctor called a radiation oncologist. Radiation is given in a big machine that shoots invisible energy beams through your breast tissue. It does not hurt and it does not make your hair fall out. It can give you redness of the skin that feels like a sunburn. The radiation is given very quickly, maybe 15 minutes per day, for five days a week, for about one month. After the redness heals, the breast skin can be a little darker and feel thicker, but it does not hurt forever. Lastly, if your breast cancer reacts to the hormone estrogen, your doctor may ask you to take a pill for several years that blocks the effects of estrogen in your breast. This is also to prevent the cancer from regrowing or spreading. We recommend that you do mammograms on both breasts at least once one time per year after you have had a breast cancer. The chances of most cancers regrowing in the same breast is usually less than 10%. If it does regrow in the future, you would likely need to remove the entire breast with a mastectomy because you cannot do a lumpectomy and radiation surgery twice in the same breast. Luckily, this has a low risk of happening. After treating millions of women with breast cancer with these techniques, we feel that it can be the safest treatment if you have the proper type of cancer. Thank you, and we wish you luck on your journey.